How to overcome anxiety? Welcome to Coffee with Simple Gospel, channel where we talk, listen, where we walk. In Matthew 6.25, Amplified Bible says this, Stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried about your life. You know, scripture here is talking about anxiety. In this world, when we look around us, we can see people left and right anxious just about anything. It is disabling state of mental mind, crumpling just about anything to progress in better quality of life. Before we fully jump into this video, hit that like button. And for those who have not subscribed to this channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. Also, that notification bell to remind you when a new video is released. And don't forget to write comment below as well. So let's dive into this video on some helping points to overcome anxiety. Number one, talk to God. Don't mourn the collapse of an investment. Ask God to help you. Don't pace the floor of the hospital waiting room. Pray for successful surgery. In 1 Peter 5, 7, Amplified says, casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on Him. Number two, slow down. Psalm 37, 7 says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Jesus' first miracle took place at the wedding. They had run out of wine which was social disaster in those days. Mary couldn't blame the host for poor planning or he, the guests for overdrinking, but instead she took the ch shortage to Jesus and he solved her problem. You can do the same, assess the problem and then take it to the Lord in prayer. Number three, don't let your anxious get the best of you. When a mosquito lands on you, you don't say, I take care of it in a minute. No, you kill it before it can bite you. Be equally decisive with your worries. The moment they surface, deal with them. Before you rush to diagnose that more as a cancer, have it examined. Instead of assuming you will never get out of debt, consult a financial expert. Be a doer, not keep pondering. Hora Sebastian said, Anxiety is a world of unbelief or unreasoning dread. We have no right to allow it. Full faith in God puts it to the rest. The cross we bear over anxiety concerning the future and cross that come from God. So give your anxiety to God and leave it with Him. This scripture suggests, or command rather, in Philippians 4, 7. And peace of God will guard your hearts. Here are three more steps you can take to overcome anxiety. Number one, list your worries. For one week, make a list of the things you worry about most. Children, health, money, marriage, job. These aren't one-time worries that come and go quickly. They are things that make you perpetually uneasy, as is said in Matthew 6.25. So begin to review them. Ask yourself how many of them have actually turned into reality. Ask yourself. Charles Sp Spurgeon said, our worst misfortunes never happen. Most of our mis miseries lie in anticipation. So, point number two, analyze them. You will detect recurring areas of pre preoccupation that might become obsessions. What people think of you. The fact that heart disease, cancer and Alzheimer's run in your family. The fear that you won't have enough to live on when you get old. Identify each fear and pray specifically about it. Third point, live in today. 
God has promised to meet your needs daily, not weekly or not annually. He will give you what you need when you need it. Hebrews 4.16 Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. When the word worry is mentioned in the Bible, it's almost always followed the word do not. If worry features in your vocabulary, it should be as part of God's words to you. Do not worry. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 says to you, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation be prior, present your request to God. And the peace of God will guard your hearts. In Matthew 6 32, your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Here are two more steps to overcome anxiety. Ask for help. Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 7, 15-6, Outside were conflicts, inside were fears. Nevertheless, God who comforts the downcast comforted us by the coming of Titus. You are not unique. Others are facing the same fears too. By telling on your anxieties, they began to lose their power. Remember, in Ecclesiastes 4, 9-10, Two are better than one. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Share your feelings with someone you trust and ask them to pray with you. People are more willing to help than you might imagine. Less worry on your part often means more happiness on theirs. Point, focus on God, not yourself. Jesus concludes his call to calmness with this challenge in Matthew 6, 32, 33. Your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. If you seek wealth, you will worry about every dollar. If you seek health, you will fear every blemish and bumps. If you seek popularity, you will obsess over every conflict. If you seek safety, you will jump at every crack of the twig. But if you focus each day on God's kingdom, he will give you everything you need. Elizabeth Cheney, the writer, wrote this, said the robin to the sparrow, I should really like to know why these anxious human beings rush around and worry so, said the sparrow to the robin, friend, I think that it must be that thy have no heavenly father such as cares for you and me. Do you hear that? Such heavenly father who cares for you and me. There's another thing which I will be finishing with this video we call salvation prior. Everyone who never met Jesus Christ prized this kind of prayer. It's not said one specific prayer, but just acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Lord Savior. Would you like to pray with me and enter into the kingdom of God where you can talk to God and God will talk to you back? Can you do that with me? If you wish to do so, just pray after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you are God and Son of the Father God. I believe that you died for my sin and that you rise from the dead to life. I want to trust you as my Savior and follow you as my Lord from this day forward. Guide my life and help me to do your will. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, if you pray this prayer with me, welcome to the kingdom of God. Welcome to the family which cares about every our need. Our only supply of the strength, only supply of security is come from God himself, the caring Father 
who knows all our needs. Your anxieties can be trained and can disappear. You can control it. So until next video, see you later. Bye.